Sarah. And I'm David. We're talking about Survivor, Edge of Extinction. Okay, it is getting freaky on that island. Oh my god, yes. That is the first thing we see is Reem losing her mind. She's just on an island and she reads that plaque about like, yeah. up, you know, raise this flag if you, if if you, you want to get out up. of there. And she was like, uh, wait, no timetable? Right. I'm just here? So then you just sort of see her stewing because you're alone on an island. All you can do is think, right? So she's just Isn't like... Isn't that so real? Oh, just going over everything every that just mistake, happened. Right. Yeah. And so she's just like, well, maybe I should have done this, and I can't believe I did this. And you see what? her like, yeah. she's got the tarp. She's wearing it as a skirt. <laughs> she's wearing it as a hat. Like she's just like wandering All around she the has island. Is this tarp thing. Yes. So she is not doing super well on the edge of extinction, and we have no indication oh, of we, how this is going to yeah, work. Yeah, we don't know either, Reem. <laughs> yeah. We don't know. Yeah. So good luck. So now we go over to Manu, where yeah. we see a little bit of the aftermath of Tribal. Mm -hmm. Wendy's like, I get it. Right. You know, right. Reem was dead in the water. It was going to happen. But you guys are missing the bigger picture yes, here. Yes, right. Go so on. she's sort of like talking to some key people, right? Like we see her talk to Rick and, Rick David, and David. And she's like, listen, like... Wentworth as a target, like, why aren't you guys seeing this? And they're like, no, 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 she's we She's already you. played. Yeah. You know, she's making this great case, and I'm like, literally David has already played. Like, he's standing <laughs> right, right there. You realize who you're talking to. But apparently he's not a, a threat or a target. I know, it's I don't know. Wentworth. I don't know how he has maneuvered that, but he really is the only returnee that doesn't seem to be on anyone's radar right now. A little bit. So. But I think Wendy just had her eyes on mm -hmm. Kelly from yeah. the get-go. Like, wisely so, because sure. Wentworth is definitely a threat. And like. And so now that Wendy's in trouble, yeah. she's like, Kelly, 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 Kelly. Yeah, right. So that sort of leads that tribe to be like, well, we can't let Wendy get an idol, so let's all just get out Right, because at this point, you know, Wendy's the next obvious target for the whole tribe. Sure. So they're like, we need to find the idol so that Wendy does not. So basically all of Manu is like out searching for an idol, including Wendy, because yeah. she knows that she's in she's danger. She's looking as well. Yeah. Now we go over to see Kama, uh -huh. and it starts with a bit of a dancing, yeah. led by Ron. Wow, having a great time at Kama. Yes, <laughs> but this is, if, if you know anything about Ron, this is what he did with his students, is he would teach dances to okay. like help them learn and stuff. So hmm. this is, I guess, just what he does. Right so up his he's alley. like, let's do a dance, <laughs> and everyone's like, ha ha ha, joke, joke, joke. Aubrey's not having it. No. Aubrey does not like Kumbaya Survivor. She wants to go to tribal. She wants to see where things are. She wants to see how people are playing. Yeah, she does not like this whole, like, let's pretend we're all friends and right. not really know. Right, yeah. So this is going to make her start to lose her mind a yeah, little bit. Yeah, a little bit. So we start to see her overplay her yes. hand a little. I mean, who does this? Hey, uh, how do you guys feel about returnees? Want to play with them or get them out? Uh, what? right. And people what? are literally like, how am I supposed to answer yeah. that? Yeah. They're like, oh, we like you. I mean, I get the strategy in the sense of like, just be direct and ask them the question and you don't even need the answer based on how long they take to answer. You well, get true. your answer, right? Right. So but she's you not... also asked them. What? Right. But I think she's trying to back people into a corner and just know where she stands. And it doesn't matter right. what they say, it's how their yeah. their body language and stuff yeah. when they're answering and that gives her what she knows. But it's shouldn't telling. she already know that she's a target? Why do you need to ask? Like people right. are gunning for returnees. That just shows that you're, you're losing it a little bit. Yeah. That you feel like you have to ask. Yeah, right. Because you, now they know you've asked. Yeah. So I get that it's telling information for you, but they now live with the fact that you like straight up asked them. Yeah, I don't right. know. I feel like that's damaging. Well, and now these people are comparing damaging. notes, yeah. right? So she's asked these these girls on the tribe, like, how do you feel about returnees? And then they go and talk to one of the guys. We're still learning their names. Right, 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 right. You but, know, those girls and that guy. And, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, but they're like comparing notes and find out that she's saying the exact same things. And then thank you, editors. Right. Because then we see it. A montage. Aubrey! Oh my gosh! <laughs> like, I almost felt bad for Aubrey that they, like, played It's a little, little embarrassing, yeah, yeah. That you just, like, laid out the same spiel to yeah, everyone. right. I just want to have a dialogue. And you remind me of me. Yeah, we kind of think a lot. And, like, look, if it had worked, Aubrey. maybe we'd be saying, like, genius work, yeah, Aubrey, right, but, right. like, she kind of got found out, and yeah. so it's just a little embarrassing, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> so she's playing a little too hard because I think she's going a little stir-crazy because right, she exactly. didn't get to go to that first tribal and she is like a returnee here to play the game, but like just cool it a little bit, you know? 
This leads us to my next favorite editing thing in this mm, episode, yeah. which was a great like conversation piece. Let's have yes. a dialogue yeah. about men versus women right. finding idols. Right. So all the men on Kama are out looking for idols. And Victoria's like, where is everybody? Is everybody out looking for an idol? We've talked about this. Men find more idols. Whenever women right. find idols, it's like, oh my god, only so many women right. have found idols. It's like a statistic. Yes, right. And here they are going, oh, the men are looking. What do we do? And Pippi Longstockings, whatever her name is, says, like, we should babysit. And then Julie's like, no, no. we should be looking. Hello. So cut to then Lauren talking about her favorite female players, right. all found idols, Right. girls who find idols, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, Boom. Lauren finds an idol. Yes. And I was like, bravo, editor, yes. bravo. So good. So we see Lauren find this idol and immediately we're a little bit like, Ooh, are you gonna tell Kelly? Like, who are you oh, gonna I know, tell? Always. Because like every time someone finds an idol on Survivor, they ruin it, right? And they tell somebody and it's the wrong person to tell. But Lauren says, I'm not even telling Kelly about this. This one is for me. Bravo, Thank you. Lauren. I hope you keep that up. Yep. I was super impressed with that decision <laughs> yes. and excited that Lauren found it. Yeah, absolutely. So then we go to the big immunity challenge. Yes. It's an, another combo, immunity reward, but the tribes are mismatched. And so somebody right. has to sit out from the comma tribe, which is Julie, yes. our 46 year old uh, Etsy, Etsy craft maker. Yes. And okay. really- Okay, we've it, seen this one before. Yeah. They even point out that Aubrey has played this one before and she says that snake is heavy. Yeah. And then we see that snake is heavy. It's so heavy. <laughs> Now, we know Keith doesn't swim. We know. Look, I think he swims decently. Right. He just doesn't swim great. As well as everyone else, right? Yeah. That's really it. Like, they kind of made this big deal about, like, Kama has a huge lead, but it wasn't, it wasn't that really. big of a lead. Like, they were just getting to that, like, crate thing as they were like, come on, Keith, come uh -huh, on. And they right. obviously had planned for it because Chris, Chris and Whitworth were kind of, like, staying back to mm -hmm. make sure to, like, get him. They do struggle. Keith struggles to get over to get the over thing. It, right. So it's like, ooh, you need to make up for right, what you've right. done. But Kama doesn't have, like, a huge Not lead. A They're huge struggling lead. with that snake. Yes, right. You know, it's a difficult challenge. Right. But eventually, you know, both tribes get the snake over yes. and they're out and they have to do this ring toss. And Manu catches up, right? Yeah. Because Joe does that first one, of course. Of oh, course. my gosh. Yes. And then Chris is right there. Chris gets that first ring toss himself. And it was yeah. like, oh, we're here. We're close. Yeah, it's close. Right. But then, again with Keith, and I get it, at this point he's like, oh, I really like yeah. kind of got us behind at the beginning. I need to step up and like prove my value in the tribe. Wouldn't it be a great story? Oh, wow. If Keith steps up and, redeems, and just boom, boom, boom. Boom. And then it's immunity for Manu and Keith saves the day, right? But that doesn't happen. That's not reality. He just keeps missing and missing and missing. And eventually they're like, so we're going to put Chris back. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah, buddy. Here. Come on back. Come and on Chris back. seems to be the only person on Manu who can do anything with a ring toss. Nobody, we don't see anybody else even try. And then meanwhile, meanwhile on comma, it's just Joe, Eric, Joe, Eric, yeah. back to back to back. And they spell that And word. Eric was just as good with yeah. Joe and yeah. that Keith messing up gave them the opportunity yeah. to just take the lead and right. then boom, that's it. Yeah. So now comma wins immunity and they get reward. And of course they chose fishing gear over spices because... If you're willing to put in the work, guess what? Joe's on that tribe. Yeah, They're going to put gonna in the work. Joe's going to go fishing for the tribe. <laughs> Okay, they're gonna get the fishing gear, thanks. <laughs> and then Manu is back at camp now, oh, second tribal in a row. Oh my gosh, to go back to tribal. And now, like, Wentworth is upset because Wendy's throwing her name out, right? Sure. But now that Keith has messed up the immunity challenge, no one else is really worried about Wendy. There's just this narrative, they're back to like, let's keep the tribe strong, maybe we need to get Keith out, because he and specifically Ward Dog is the yes. one who's like spearheading this, Keith's he gotta go. He is leading this charge, because before, immunity mm -hmm. they were like of course Wendy's the next yeah. after they lose and Keith sort of dragged them back yeah. war dog leads this effort uh -huh. of like Keith's got to go he's right. the weak link right uh, but, 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 but. but the other you know little thing that was sizzling was do they go after Kelly mm -hmm. and we saw David sort of be like uh yeah 
Uh, yeah. I'm no fool. She'll take me out yeah. as soon as she gets the chance. So if I can get her out, great. So yeah, let's blindside her yeah. if we can get the numbers. Mm -hmm. Well, for some reason, War Dog was going to be one of their numbers. Now he's like straight up for Keith. Right. So... And so David's like, okay, I'll let it go because yes. David's doing a very good job of it laying really low and not pushing too hard in any direction right, right now. So right. he kind of lets the Wentworth thing go and is like, I guess I'll just get that for another day, but I'm going to go along with War Dog right now. But Keith, now this is where I give Keith some credit. Hello, he's, he's not playing the game. Over, rolling over and dying here. No, he's hogging Chris. He's saying he's like, thank you so I much. I want to be loyal to you. You have done so much for me. I will yeah. always support you. Yeah. I will never turn my back on you till the end of this game. That's yes. exactly what Chris wants to hear. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So Chris then goes to Rick. Right. And is like, huh, should we go for Kelly? Right. Okay, well, Rick's like, well, now right. we have this other person who could be a vote. Yeah. And we could have the numbers to do that. Hello. He talks to David. David. Then he talks to Keith, and it's like, we're going to go after Wentworth. So they're just slowly going, picking up these votes to maybe get Wentworth out. Yes. Yeah, so at this moment, it's is, is it going to be Kelly or is it going to be Keith? Right. Here's where I think it went wrong. Chris thinks he has to go back to War Dog yes. and get War Dog on his side. Right. Because you don't want to blindside too many people at a tribal yeah. council, right? You only want to blindside the person who's going off the island. Right. And I don't know if there was a, you know, how much Rick said back to Chris of like, oh yeah, we have these numbers. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there was that conversation. We didn't see it. Right. So did Chris think that he needed to get War Dog's number as well? Mm -hmm. Like keep him in the loop and we need his vote? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Right. But. War Dog is like, ooh, but I really want to get rid of Keith. So then there was that next layer of conversation yes. to bring you back around right. to Keith. Yes, because War Dog is now, you know, bringing up another point about Wentworth about she's a shield, right? And we yeah. want to keep Wentworth around maybe because when we switch tribes or whatever, if someone, if we end up on a tribe with Wentworth, she's still a bigger target than we are. So yeah. do we really want to get Keith out right now? Which is a good point. You know, there's like a lot of different These ways of looking at this. are all valid arguments. I think it would be, I don't want Wentworth to go, but I think it's smart to get her out. She is definitely exactly. a threat in this game. But I see the point of wanting to keep her in the game for now. You know, yeah. there's just, there's no one right move here. I think there was a right move. <laughs> I love Wentworth. Yeah. You guys know we were rooting yeah. for Wentworth, yeah. but come time for this tribal. Yeah. I was like, those idiots need to get rid of Kelly. <laughs> This is the time you get rid of someone as good as Kelly. Yes. If you've got the numbers and you can catch her off guard, right. who cares if this guy yes. can't swim? Right. That is no threat to you the rest of the game. Yeah, because it's like if Kelly starts to make her way out of votes week after week, all of a sudden there's just this thing about her where she's invincible, you know? Yeah. It reminds me of a few seasons ago with Joe. He was like a hothead and he had a big personality and nobody really liked him and, and he was kind of this villain character and they wanted him out for a few weeks but he just barely made his way out. Right. And then he was there for like right. eight more weeks, yes. you know? I mean, not weeks, however many yeah. days in Survivor, but you know what I'm saying. Like, he was there for a long time. If you time. allow people to stay, they're gonna stay. Yes. That's what I loved about last season so much, is they literally got mm -hmm. rid of the big target mm -hmm. as they went along. Yes. Wentworth is one of those characters, I don't want to belabor the point, but it's like, it's it's not as easy as, well, we'll get so-and-so out this weekend, we'll get Wentworth next no. week. It's not that easy. You have to take the opportunity when it's there. Yes. The conversation at Tribal was like, do we keep the tribe strong? Is it about loyalty and who right. you can trust? And they said yada, blindside yada, a million yada. times. Like, everybody was talking about who's going to get blindsided. It's going to be a blindside for somebody. Yeah, right. And it was a blindside for me. because. Yeah. <laughs> What they did was they got rid of Keith. Agreed. Because I even said to Sarah while we were watching, um, <laughs> they it was like three votes to Keith, and I was like, no. The no way. Be, They're going to flip, yep. and it's going to all go Wentworth and Kelly's yep. out. And then the, and literally then, the next vote, for the second person vote added out of Survivor, yeah. is Keith. And we were like, who? Yeah. What? <laughs> I, I understand where they were coming from at the beginning of like, well, Keith is dragging us down. We don't want to go back to Tribal again. Like, I get that. Yeah. Right. But then when you're presented with, we might have the numbers to get out this really strong player, mm -hmm. I just don't right. understand and why you get would not get her out take before that. she has a chance to work her way into the game and yep. form meaningful yep. alliances. So now, Kelly Wentworth She's should safe. win yeah. this whole game. <laughs>
yeah. that's what I said. Because you guys allowed it. You let her stay. Yeah, right. So you guys should all lose to her. Now, they did not show us how the votes fell. At no. The end. Usually they do at the end What's of the episode, but we had to check back in with Reem, which we'll get to. But they, we do know that there was one vote for Wendy, one vote for Kelly, and then the four votes for Keith that were enough to send him home. I'm curious right. how the rest of the votes fell. I assume they'll they be Keith. They must have all been for Keith or they would have shown if us If there was any kind of drama, they right. would have shown it. Right. Yeah. So, so I guess been a huge... Kelly probably voted for Wendy and but why? Keith probably voted for Kelly and right. then I guess everybody else voted for Keith. Yeah, but I we'll don't see. understand who would vote for Wendy if the deal was to get out Keith, but whatever. Yeah, right. Doesn't matter because it wasn't going to be a blindside yeah. for Kelly. Okay. But poor Keith. Okay. So obviously he's a super fan. He's disappointed. Yes. He said, dang, 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 dang it. What? Dang, dang, dang. And then he gets... Dang, when it gets down <laughs> right. to this choice that he has to make, right? <laughs> and he does not just like make that choice. No, because then it's like, oh, Jesus, 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 oh, Lord, oh, God. And that's how we end the episode. Yeah, we didn't Jesus even did see... not take the wheel no. quick enough that we no. didn't even get to see him he make a decision. He didn't get a sign. So I don't know when we're going to see Keith make a decision on that, but that's the cliffhanger yeah. for next week. So and... we don't know if he joins her, but then right. they actually show us Reem still losing her mind over on the island. Oh, my God. She says three days. Three days and two bites of coconut. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's like, if nobody comes, I might have to raise that flag. And Girl, I, I hear feel you. Ya. Yes. I feel ya. Because you would go absolutely crazy. How? How do you not go crazy? I mean, at least she has a cameraman to talk to. I mean, maybe. If for a minute there, I was like, did they just prop up cameras and there's <laughs> nobody there with that her That would be all? horrible. Right? <laughs> I hope there's a human at least just like ignoring her, but like yes. a human body there, there right. for like just a little bit of safety yes. and comfort. But because we don't see, you know, what Keith decides, yes. we have, again, no more clues as to how this works. Is Keith, well, A, is Keith going to stay in the game? B, is he going to go to the same island as Reem or does he go to another island? Like, clearly there are a lot of islands around here. Like, how is this going to work? I am so intrigued. Right. I can't believe we didn't get answers <laughs> yeah. this week. I thought right. we were going to get some yeah. answers. The other thing with the preview to next week is maybe Wendy broke her ankle. Wendy! I don't want that to be the case. No! <laughs> I'm so glad Wendy, like, made it past this episode. Yeah, right. And, you know, something that was pointed out was her loyalty. I believe yeah. it was David and Rick who were like, you know, she's a loyal player and we could use that loyalty. Right. Like, that's the best that you could hope for coming yeah. out of, I will not change my vote, yes, you know? Yes, right. So, gosh, exactly. you're always heartbroken when someone's yes. injured. Yes, you never want someone's survivor journey to end in a medical evacuation. Yeah. So, like, I really hope she's able to... I don't know, work her way through this, yeah. but the ankle did not look it good. It didn't look It's good. like bruised and purple and then, like bad news. Hopefully that it's not as bad. Yeah, I hope so. Exciting stuff. Yeah. But still a lot of questions to be answered. Yeah, a little bit of a frustrating move, I think, because I do, I agree, even though I don't want Wentworth, Wentworth to go, right. I think it would have been the better move. Keith is a little bit of a safe move at Right, this and then that other tribe is just like, ugh, you know, yeah. I never like it to be unbalanced, yeah. too, you know? Yeah, I know. If I think if there's one more week of that tribe winning, they got to switch it. it up. They'll mix it up, yeah. for sure. Yeah. What do you guys think? Who are you rooting for? Who do you like? Yeah, what Who, returnee what do you think is playing the best game right? so far. Let us know and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.